guys, it's Cool Story Bro, and today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can actually use your Apple TV fourth generation or newer remote on your iMac or Mac mini. It's a pretty simple and easy method to do. First of all, what you need to do is basically turn your Apple TV fourth generation totally off by the plug so it don't actually connect with your Apple TV. Once you've done that, go to your iMac or Mac mini and then you wanna to go to the Apple icon like so. You wanna to go to system preferences and then you want to go to the Bluetooth. These are all my Bluetooth devices hooked up to this iMac. But the bottom one is my Apple TV fourth generation remote control. And this is how you actually go into connect it with your iMac or Mac mini. So first of all, you wanna to go to Safari and then you want to have this website. So this is the Siri remote. Don't worry, I'm actually gonna put the link in the description so you can actually download it because it's free of charge. You're not gonna actually download a demo and it's gonna ask for 20, 24.99 or 19.99 or such and such a month. It's totally free. Once you've downloaded it, you get an application like so, which is called Siri remote. You wanna press it. Now this is probably gonna be a different screen layout for you because I have already actually done it. So as you can see, mine is fully connected. As you can see right now, it's connected. And then what you wanna do is make sure the actual Apple TV fourth generation remote control is fully charged. You wanna press the menu button and the volume up and you wanna hold them both for at least five seconds. And it already told you that, but I just wanna put that in there. Once it's actually done, you wanna have like a display like this. So you wanna have your Bluetooth on the left and then the application. Once it's fully connected, the same as this, the screen should appear like this and it's gonna actually tell you, you can actually control iTunes, QuickTime Player, Keynotes and more, your iMac and Mac Mini into a perfect entertainment center. So let's get to it. It's my Apple TV fourth generation Apple remote control, as you can see. So I'm gonna see if it's actually connected to my iMac and then what we're gonna do is press pause and play and then we're gonna turn it up. And we're gonna turn it down. We're gonna pause it, play. And then we're gonna skip the song to a new song. Press menu to repeat the song. that and press play and pause again for the previous song so that works completely fine let's try the tv shows now this is the tv shows this is drake and josh i'm going to use the apple tv fourth gen remote control so what i'm going to do is press play as you can see volume up sometimes it can be tricky volume Girls down so easy to pause so say if I wanted to skip to the next episode, I just tap here, let it load up, press play and pause. Get the menu, uh, the intro command for Drake and Josh. As you can see, it's the next episode. To so say if I wanted to go back to the previous episode is you just tap menu, double tap like so. And then it should load the previous episode as you can see. Another cool feature you can actually use the Apple TV 4th gen remote control with is the DVD player which is awesome. So if you do watch a lot of DVDs and you've got a super drive or a normal DVD player for your iMac or Mac mini you can actually use the Apple TV remote. So it's pretty easy. Play, pause like so, volume up. Oh, it's a happy dude. 742 Evergreen Terrace, Springfield. Don't delay. down and say if you wanted to watch the same episode you just press menu and then it should go to chapters so if you go to chapter one which is the main intro which is this and then you go back to a normal chapter chapter two chapter three and chapter four where we was before Pretty cool, volume up, play, pause. So yeah, you can actually use this 
with your DVD super drive or a DVD player. So if you do watch a lot of DVDs and you want it as like an, a, a perfect entertainment system, then this is the best way to go. So if you do own an iMac or Mac mini or the latest one, you can actually use Apple TV fourth generation remote control to actually control your iMac and Mac mini and turn it into an awesome entertainment system.